Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today, uh, this is the least rainy day I have that I'm not working. So I'm up here um, doing a bit of weeding. <laughs> um, it's getting a little bit high. Like you can see in contrast to from inside a shade house to outside the shade house, it's up to my knees. Look at all the grass. Um, now, I've only spent like about an hour to maybe two hours, I think, um, doing a bit of weeding uh, around this patch and the other patch. And I just want to show you something. So, that's my white sage, <laughs> I can't pronounce, my white sage there. And what has happened was I pruned it back and Arne came along and she stuck it in the ground. Now, if it's successful, I'll let you know. But currently, these are the sage stick. Right. So, it doesn't look like these will survive because it's falling apart. But there's one that's promising. It's been here for months. It's this one here. Um, it's still got some green on here. And it's still green. This is like more than a month maybe two months so the other thing i can suggest is if you want to propagate white sage um maybe do it in the springtime do the same thing cut a an older branch off stick it in the ground see how you go because i know they don't really sell sage anymore that's one thing like white sage like if you have common green sage that's fine but white sage there's not that many uh, that's um, you know selling it and secondly um, the seed germination is very low like the rate of success is really low so if I could do this and it works out yeah, it will be great <laughs> for anyone who really like white sage because it's only used for ceremony um, I don't eat it and it just looks pretty over here I'll show you the patch that I've done some weeding this is my potato patch <laughs> I haven't start uh, I haven't started weeding this yet but eventually I will um, just to manage it a bit like I don't go in and aggressively weed like you can see over there so that patch down there down the end there all the way down the end of this patch so the only reason why I'm doing weeding in this area is because I want to save my pigeon pea now I used to have a really big pigeon pea um, I'm not sure if these gonna survive it looks a bit miserable like I had a really big tree somewhere over there where the moringa tree is and when I went to Queensland, um, it was a really big tree by then. Uh, I think it started to die and, um, we, well, no one here germinate anymore. So these are the seedling that's dropped to the ground and has somehow germinated um, after many years, I suppose. So in previous years, I had some that, you know, grew around here but my parents they came along and whatever like they don't care because they don't really um, appreciate permaculture <laughs> um, all these plants so they just come along and pull it out like the weeding and stuff that's why I'm in this section and I'm trying to make it as visible as possible so then they wouldn't pull it out from from the ground because otherwise I need to buy more seed and germinate it again so hopefully these will survive and then I will start to have some stock at some stage. So there we go. And I grew some um trying to think. Broad beans. <laughs> yeah, broad beans, snow peas. Um that's really for soil fertility. It doesn't matter if they uh have pods like beans, but um you know, at the moment, I just, I just want to build that fertility there. These are my carrot that I um, grew last 
couple months. Look at them. They're chutney um, carrot. Maybe I'll pull that one out too. Just these three. Look at that. Oh, this is so cute. It's full flavour. I thought I would just pick some and chew on it at a later stage. And uh, these are lupin. So I just kept something. I don't, I don't like the ground so bare. Um, my plan is to get some pinto peanut grass. Uh, it's a legume. So hopefully if I can get anywhere, I don't know where, <laughs> in New South Wales, they sent over, Queensland and New South Wales, they sent over the WA. Um, I will definitely put it on the ground and it will spread and create a nice ground cover. Like, I don't like a bear like this. All right. So, we're about to head home. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and we're harvesting some of the produce that we grew. So, some celery, some lettuce, um, the sweet potatoes coming along. Some onion, there's garlic here. It's just slowly. If I go around, I would pick it up for a salad bowl. And these are coming into flowers. And it should be um, giving us some seed very soon. All right. Look at this. That's beautiful. So that's it from me. I hope everyone is having a lovely time gardening. If you live in the Perth, tomorrow will be thunderstorm, so you won't be able to garden at all. <laughs> all right, bye everyone.